Hello, everyone. My name is Lindsay, and I'm the founder of World Changing Kids, and my pronouns are she and her. And tonight, I'm so excited to be here with the amazing school community of St. Isabel Catholic School. And the Parent Council has brought, this is the third of three workshops we brought together for this community, uh, learning about important issues and actions we can take to help. And today I'm so excited to announce that we are going to be learning from Corey, who works for the Northern Birthday Box Project. And she is gonna tell us all about the realities of living in Northern communities here in Canada and um, a really super awesome, fun project that we can take part in to help. So with that, I will pass it over to Corey. Hi there. Um, as Lindsay said, my name is Corey and I'm a volunteer with the Northern Birthday Box Project. Uh, we are a project that helps bring uh, birthday joy to children who live in Northern and remote parts of Canada. Um, and we have been doing this now for about six years um, and have sent out over 11,000 boxes to children. Uh, so just want to share a little bit about what we do and why we do it. And then we can, um, I'll, I'll show you some exciting news about what your school's going to get to do. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'll go give you just a little taste of, of what we are doing. So, okay. So this is just a quick slideshow that I made for the Northern Birthday Box Project. And um, these are some children who have been, who enjoy um, our birthday box. So um, you can see here, we've got a little boy who's opening it and he's right excited. You can see a party in action. And if you look really closely at the cake, he's a super uh, Spider-Man fan. And then this little girl here, she wanted to do a princess box. So all of these children would be living um, either in Nunavut, in Quebec, um, in the Yukon, or in Northern Manitoba, we send to, we send to Ontario, especially Northern Ontario. We send quite a few boxes there as well. Um, our rules are kind of that the children would need to be living at least a three to four hour car ride from the closest major center. Um, but most of the communities that we send to are fly in and fly out communities. So if you're not sure what that means, there is no roads to get to that community. Uh, you can get there sometimes by boat, uh, it would be quite the trip though, or um, you have to get there by plane. So they fly in and they fly out. Um, and living in a community like that, it becomes very, very, very expensive uh, to live there, um, mostly because of the transportation costs to be able to get something from Ottawa up to um, Ranklin Inlet would be quite expensive because not only are they flying in and out, but almost everything that they're purchasing either goes on a plane or it goes on a barge. So a, a big shipping container that comes up approximately once a year uh, and they, they get all of their stuff that way. Um, so here's just something fun for you guys to do, uh, to look at and maybe to do with your classes. So these are the things here that cost um, I chose three things and about how much they cost right now in Ottawa. Um, so a four pack of KD, it's about what Walmart told me it was $4.74. We've got some Ocean Spray um, cranberry juice and it's about $3. And then we've got a big watermelon. So not one of those tiny ones, but a full size watermelon and it's about $8. So if teachers want to just pause the video for a minute um, and have your kids, have your students, uh, make some guesses on what they think this would cost if you lived in Northern Canada. Okay, so let's see how close you guys came to the prices. So in Northern Canada, that same box of KD would be $15.59. Your juice is $28. And look at this. So you know how much um, a watermelon is delicious in the summer and, and mom and dad and family and aunties and teachers even sometimes they'll bring in a watermelon and you guys get to eat it up and it's so good. And one big one really doesn't last very long in the summer. It's a good thing it's only $8 in Ottawa because up north, a piece of a watermelon 
with a few grapes, $21. So when we started this group, it was because Canadians were starting to learn about how expensive it was to live in Northern Canada. Uh, and we really wanted to do something that helped in a way that wasn't just talking about food. So some people are asking like, why do we talk about um, uh, birthday boxes when you're trying to help people with food? Well, because a lot of kids don't have birthday parties in the North with the themes that they want and decorations because it's just too expensive to do that. If mom and dad um, or parents are spending $21 on a piece of watermelon, that's going to be a special treat. It's not going to be something that you have all the time. And so what we wanted to do was to take away the cost of a birthday party so that families could then put their money into anything else that they thought was important. What do we send when we go up north? Here are some examples for you. So we have a picture of a young child. And this one, she's got her cake mix. She's got some icing. There's some balloons, there's some candles, and then we recommend enough uh, decorations for a fun, fun party. So uh, at least four things. Some people go and get quite a few things, but we try and keep it pretty fair to families. So we say only one box can be spent, not many boxes. And then you can see over here, this one, sh this child wanted a puppy uh, party. That was their theme. So they've got all of that in there. 